Hi, beautiful soul. Welcome to this week's Angel Message with me, Rachel School Talk Angel Medium. Every Monday, I bring through the messages and guidance for the angels for the week ahead to give you guidance some insight and wisdom all about the energy so that you can navigate the week and you can know what's coming and you can take advantage of the energies, right? You can ride the waves in the way that they're meant to be ridden. So you've always got angels with you and that's a beautiful thing that I love to share with everybody. This week I'm using Guardian Angel Tarot, a beautiful card. But what's interesting is, you know, part of my work, part of my purpose is sharing the angels love, light and miracles with as many people as I can this lifetime. That's my mission. That's why I'm here. And so over the coming weeks in my newsletter, if you're not part of my newsletter, go and sign up for it on my website. You, it's a free newsletter. I'm going to take you through this kind of mini series. It's like a little course to show you how to make a deeper connection with your angels. And so I'm going to be hitting those subjects every week to give you a little bit of a story and insights about how the angels help you and how you can build that connection. And I'm not going to give it to you all at once because that's overwhelming, right? We never, it's really hard when you've got too many things to do. You can't do it all at once. We're all busy. So I'm giving it to you one little bit at a time. So I'll tell you more about that in a second, but let's talk about the angels who are working with us this week. So definitely we've got the guardian angels. We've got Archangel Jophiel, the angel who helps us to sort out our thoughts. If you've got brain fog, if you can't control your negative thinking, if you've been going back in time, you know, we all do that. Sometimes there's some trauma, some happening, conflict where you just can't get your head out of it, that's a sign that you need some healing and the angels will help you with that. But Jophia will help you to be present and to cleanse your mind and your energy so that you can have focus and focus on the blessings and the things that you need to do in front of you. And we all know that our thoughts manifest our experiences. So that's why our angels are trying to help us all the time. And Jophia is with us to help us to uplift our thoughts so that we can manifest what we want rather than more of what we don't want, right? Because we all get fascinated by the, the things we don't want, we don't we? We're like, oh no, look at that. And we think about it a lot, but we don't realize that we're magnetizing more of the same. It's like pouring petrol on a fire. So that's why Joe Fiel is stepping in to help us this week, the guardian angels and Archangel Michael. So thank you angels for being with us, for surrounding us today. And we ask for your wisdom, guidance, and insight about what everyone needs to know most this week. What is your guidance for us? How can you help us? And what do we need to know for our highest good? So Archangel Michael always protects the session. So if you're worried, don't be. I always only work with the angels of the brightest light, love and light. And Archangel Michael makes sure that the energy is pure, that you're not being given negative energy or negative thoughts. And it keeps away negative people from you as well when you have an Archangel Michael protection around you. Imagine it like a purple bubble of light. He's protecting this session. Every time it's watched, that bubble of light is activated so that you get to be surrounded by it as well. And you can continue your, your day with this beautiful protection. All right, angels, what guidance do you have for us this week? Oh, I'm liking it already. Four cards this week. You're going to love every single one of them. So first up, this is a theme of the week, what the angels want us to know, where we're at in the cosmic ascension, the whole big picture, right? The angels zoom back for us and go, this is where you are on the map. We're in a shift right now, and this makes perfect sense because this week is the equinox. So the equinox is the most powerful point in the year one of four powerful points in the year, where it's um, an energetic reset. And this card is perfect. Look at it. So if you've been going through something right now, something big, something scary or something intense, it's a reset. You're in a period of renewal. The card says renewal if you can't see it. This looks like the beautiful girl, Archangel Gabrielle look, with, the, with the trumpet and the she's the messenger angel. She announces new guidance is coming. New energy is about to come in. The mess, the words say reflection, self-evaluation and rebirth. Have you been doing a bit of that? I certainly have. When you suddenly have 
I don't know if I want to do this like this anymore. Or you get some realizations about things, or maybe somebody shows you something, or, you know, and it helps you get a check. It's like a check in of where you are. It might be your bank account, your website, your health. You get a sort of a, a flash picture and it helps you to reevaluate, put what's important as a priority, make some changes, and start again, re reset your life. So you might be getting an urge to declutter, <laughs> clear away things, walk away from situations that don't serve you. And it's, you know, this period can be quite difficult because it's like, oh gosh, look at what I've got to do. You know, I've been going through this phase of <laughs> trying to work because I've written hundreds of blog articles about angels in 20 years, 22 years of working with angels. So I've written so many blog articles and I'm trying to sort them out right now, but I've got so much else to do. It's like a little in-between thing, but I'm absolutely, I just have to do it because, you know, some of them are outdated. Some of them just need a, a upgrading a little bit so what is it for you that's how the angels are bringing you things and saying look you need to do something about this look you need to make a change here look what's really going on here so re-evaluation changes reflect decide what you want in your life what you don't want in your life and move forward so it's an energetic gateway is opening a big one I'm doing an event this week um, on Zoom. You can join. It's a deep channeled guided meditation to activate work with the angels for the equinox. And this equinox is the gateway is opening to wash away toxic effects of trauma, past experiences, fears that have been holding you back. Um, and the patriarchal energies, you know, that toxic kind of limiting, you can do this, but you can't do that. And because you're a woman or because you're at this or because you're that, that's all being cleared. Um, so it's a global healing and it's a healing for you personally. We're going to be letting go of those heavy energies with the angels. So it's called the Equinox Attunement to a Thousand Angels of Light. The angels have told me that when this gateway opens, a thousand eight new angels are coming into earth. So we get to work with them and attune with them. And it's also a place of manifestation. So I really think that this renewal energy is, is absolutely spot on. So what's coming up for renewal in your life? <laughs> Not the subscriptions. <laughs> All right, the block card. All right, love this. Look at the little puppy. Oh. Um, We've got this gentleman and he's sitting, he's, he looks like a happy, nice, kind little fellow. He's got a um, the book of wisdom with an angel feather on it on his lap. And he's, he's happy with his life. This is a card of fulfillment, contentment. It's where you're headed. He's looking back on his life, his family, his good friends, his loyal companions, his angels, his divine connection. And he's pleased with what he has learned. So this is a card about wisdom security, contentment, feeling at ease. Now, why is it in the block position? Because there's some things that you need to sort out to get you back to center, to feeling peaceful again. So even though you might be saying, oh, angels, why is this happening right now in my life? You know, maybe a challenge has come up for you. Look for the blessings, the lessons and the love in this because there are always hidden blessings, even in the hardest challenge. Now, I'm not minimizing hard stuff. Believe me, I'm not. I've gone through my fair share of BS and fear and trauma in my life. And I work with many people who, who have the same. So I have full empathy for you. But it really does help us if we can work with our angels to release the challenge, to overcome the obstacles, to heal the problem. And along the way, if you can find the grace within you, the humility within you to go, what is the blessing and the lesson of this situation? Not a slap on the wrist, the blessing. Sometimes there's wisdom to be found. What, what is this leading me to? What am I learning from this? What have I missed? Not because you've done anything wrong. Challenges are not punishments. The angels are helping you to have this contentment, this blessing, the love, the the wisdom in your life but and it there's no but as in it's coming or it's there already there's probably just a few things that need moving around and so 
you're being shown that because your angels are always working with you for your highest good, for your peace. Highest good isn't bad. The highest good is good. So where are you feeling perhaps insecure or you're feeling like something is out, you know, there's dis-ease, disharmony, something is off. The angels are helping you to align mind, body, spirit, external life, inner life to be able to bring all that together. And so very often problems show us what needs to be changed, doesn't it? It's like, oop, I've got to get on top of that. Oop, I've been ignoring my health and well-being. You know, there's, there's usually something like that. All right. But it's all okay. It's all okay. It's going to be okay. So here we have the third card, which I love this card so much. This is one of my favorite cards. Now, we have three happy women standing in a circle celebrating. And in the center of the circle is this beautiful golden butterfly radiating. And if you can see, there's butterflies all around them. They have chalices. They're smiling. They're cheersing. And the, um, the card says celebration, community, and friendship. This is your guidance card for this week. Now, what stands out to me about this card is the butterfly. It's, you know, it's the circle of love. It's finding like minds, finding community, real community, not just, you know, sometimes what we think of community isn't. People that get you, that understand you, that connect with you, that don't want to project their, their pain on you. Um, support. But the butterfly is metamorphosis, is transformation. So I'm seeing this as you're going through a transformation. You're bringing more joy and celebration and connection into your world. You're letting go of a bit of, you know, the, our ego is always trying to drive the program. It always is. And so, you know, it might be telling you, oh, you, you haven't got enough or you're not good enough or you've got to do more of this. And self-comparison, all of that. It's bringing it back to recognizing that you're in a period of growth and spiritual, emotional, and physical transformation. Nobody is perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect human being on this planet, never has been, never will be. You know why? Because we're all here in earth school to grow and learn. We're going through, and look at the moment, it's rapid. <laughs> it's rapid ascension. Um, we're here to learn. We're not here to be perfect. We're not here to be gurus. You know, we're here to to help, to contribute, to have a voice, you know, on our chosen subject or in our chosen career. But there's no perfect human being. So stop putting that pressure on yourself. Everyone is in a state of flux and change. So what is changing for you? Where can you find blessings and honor that that part of you that's sort of you know where are you on the stage of transformation and where can you find time to rest and not just move quickly on to the next thing you know sometimes we achieve something and you don't even think about it and you're on to the next thing you haven't even stopped to go oh, I did that well done you know celebrate yourself go and have um a cup of tea at your favorite cafe or go and have a massage or go and sit in the sun and just just absorb do something it doesn't matter whether you've achieved an award or a certificate or it's just that you got through the last six months give yourself space give yourself love because otherwise you can't improve you can't change you can't shift if you're always cracking the whip behind yourself and you know what as well, sometimes when that happens, when you're trying to move too fast, you're trying to move through the situations and you're not, you're, you're not stopping to smell the roses, so to speak, or the coffee, that our angels will then sort of, it will feel like everything pulls back. And that's not because you're being punished. It's because the angels are saying you need to rest before the next thing happens. And if you keep rattling the door and banging on it, it's not going to open. You've got to rest first. You've got to pause first. You've got to honor where you are, the season that you've just left. I mean, equinox is the change of season, the balance of darkness and light. You've got to honor each stage. And if you don't do that, I find my angels do a bit of a kind of like, mm -hmm, okay, we're going to, we're going to make you do it. You know, 
we're just going to wait until you get this. And once you get it, everything starts to get moving again. So keep that in mind. You know, if you've been feeling things have slowed down, you're not getting the signs of synchronicity, maybe the flow, flow of you're looking for your soulmate, you're looking for healing, you're looking for abundance, you're looking for clients in your spiritual business, whatever it is, just stop, pause, rest, meditate, celebrate, do something gorgeous and say thank you. And then things will start to move again. All right, final card. I love this because this feels like we've gone on a journey, doesn't it? It really does. And here's another synchronicity that I hadn't noticed before. The I kept saying to the angels when I was planning the Equinox event for um, Friday, it's a 90-minute Zoom session. So I kept saying portal, and the angels kept changing and saying archway. It's an archway. So the angels are coming through, the thousand angels are coming through, an archway. Now this card has an archway on it. So we start with the angels announcing the renewal and the rebirth, which is coming with this equinox change, the, the season, the equinox change. We get to, we get shown the archway. We get told to stop and celebrate the light, right? Because the equinox is a time of dark and light being imperfectly balanced. And, you know, down here, down south, we're going into summer. Up north, you're going into winter and autumn. So it's a celebration of the light. Celebrate the light in your life, in the world. Focus on the light. You are light workers. We know there is a battle between darkness and light, fear and love at all times. At the moment, it's a bit intense. So we need your light. But you're no good to anyone if you're depleted and drained and you've worn yourself out and you've burnt out and you've given all your good stuff away to everybody else and you've forgotten yourself. The outcome She's coming through the gateway. She's made it through the archway, right? We said this is an energetic gateway. As you emerge the other side, look at the light around her. The word is strength. We have 1-1, one, one, the energetic gateway. When we see 11-11 11, 11 or 1-1, one, one, it's a sign that an energetic gateway is opening in your energy field. And what you speak and think in that moment is what is going to manifest. So you better say something good. We've got the infinity sign and we've got the lion. So as you emerge from this equinox gateway, this rebirth of your energy this week, you will find yourself stronger and more protected. Your strength, your magnificence is starting to show. And we're not just talking about materially, we're talking about in consciousness. I don't teach about angels to get you stuck on the astral plane and thinking only about abundance and only about the physical stuff that they can do for you. They're not genies. They can help us miraculously with every aspect of our life. And they don't judge us for materialism at all because we are actually physical. Um, and I haven't managed to work out a way of kind of um, not eating or anything like that. But We've also got to raise our consciousness, right? We can't do one without the other. We, 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 the whole of us goes, right? So as we're moving through life, the more you raise your consciousness, things get easier and we attract more angels and, and more spiritual blessings. So here we are emerging with the, with the lion, courage, strength. It's almost like a reward. Look at what you've done. Look at what you're capable of. Keep going. You've got the strength to keep going, perseverance. You know, I remember one of my teachers saying years ago that you sh sensitivity and strength go together. If you're too sensitive, not too sensitive, if you're sensitive without the strength, there's no such thing as too sensitive, um, then, then there's something missing, right? Because you can feel kind of like you've been overloaded by everything in the world. Like I've got sensitivity, but I haven't got the strength. Maybe it's too much kind of receiving and not enough giving. If you're too strong without the sensitivity, then you can overpower people. You can get into your ego. You can, you know, you haven't got that sensitivity to, to temper what you're doing. So when you've got sensitivity and strength together, light worker, there's nothing that you can't do because you're intuitively plugged in. You're aware and loving of all beings. You respect all of life. You're not trying to force your opinions and your judgments and your energy on other people. Can't do that in this. No, we can't do it. It kicks back at us. And yet what you've been through, all of the 
yes, as I said before, you know, the drama, the trauma, the pain, the suffering, the grief, the heartache gives you compassion, doesn't it? And it gives you courage because you know you got through it and you can help other people get through it or you can inspire other people to get through theirs as well. So this, I love this for you. I love this for you. Isn't this gorgeous? So I'm going to put these cards up on stories, Instagram, and all of that for you later. Thank you so much for taking part of this. Now, I've put a new, th I'm doing a new thing. In midweek, I'm going to do a card pick for you. So you won't get the card pick as part of this video. We'll do the card pick in a separate video um, on a Wednesday or a Thursday. And I will link you to all of that. We'll put it up on YouTube, etc. In the meantime, have a beautiful week ahead. Angel blessings. Please come to the Equinox Attunement to a Thousand Angels of Light. I promise you it's going to be miraculous, powerful. You'll get an experience of the angels, a wave of light coming through, letting go of the junk and the heaviness that doesn't serve you, the trauma, the fear, global healing. And we're going to do a manifestation process with the angels, one I haven't done before, so that we can call in through that archway of light what it is. If you've been feeling stuck, we're going to knock down all of those barriers and um, shift onto a higher timeline. Sending you love and angel blessings. I'm Rachel Skoltok. All of the links to all of my events and our upcoming program, Angel Communication, in the caption in the comments. Have a great week. Bye.